budget phones, budget phones, budget phones. We've talked about this in length myself and some gadget guy. And here is a Lumia 635, which is pretty much one of the premier budget phones. And they say premier, but it's uh, from Microsoft, uh, part of the Nokia Lumia line. And uh, today we're going to check it out to see how well this thing performs. And really, is this something that will set that budget market on fire? <music> A quick correction before we begin, this spots a 480 display instead of 720 which the packaging from T-Mobile and Microsoft said it has a 720p 4.5 inch display. It's got capacitive touchscreen buttons which are on screen, not on the side but on screen buttons themselves, a 5 megapixel camera with no flash and then of course the speakers at the bottom right. Now there is no dedicated camera button as you can see that's missing there, everything is actually controlled from the device. Now internally what you have have here on this device is something very simple. You've got a nice um, 1830 milliamp battery, which gives you long battery life, trust me. And you've got a micro SIM as well as micro SD card slot up to 128 gigabytes. Yes, 128. Uh, it's also got eight gigabytes of internal storage. So you've got a lot of storage options there for you. The screen is vibrant, still looks good and it's easy to function. It runs Windows Phone 8.1 and it's very smooth because of that Snapdragon 400 processor in there. Now it's only got 512 megs of RAM, but you still can do a lot with this device altogether. You've got some fun some unique and cool functionalities. Stuff like project my screen, which allows me to basically take my little Lumia um, 635, click that project my screen button, and then find a device that actually uh, supports uh, Miracast, uh, which of course is like my Samsung um, HU 8000 TV there. And uh, I can connect it, a uh, slight little error there for some reason, but tap again and oh, I think because I had the app open, but I can definitely go ahead and um, go back to the application and boom, here we are, TV Samsung LED 65 and uh, it should pop up on display. There we go, I projected my screen. So I can navigate and share stuff. I can flip this if I want to. I'm just using it, of course, in portrait mode. But you can see there, it's it's not one-to-one. -one. Maybe that's just because of the specs, but it's pretty close. And if you want to share content, video, photos, family and friends, you can definitely do that. And it'd be easy for you to use and navigate uh, as you do. So that's also a cool feature that this little device, uh, you know, handles. It's only 129 on T-Mobile and it can actually do this stuff. So that's something that's really cool. I think a lot of people will love and appreciate. So all these cool features are accessible in here. You've also got things like battery saving here. And as I mentioned, that 1830 milliamp battery really goes a long way. And basically it says there three days and 23 hours from 100%. Now granted, I haven't got three days from maximum use. I've got about two days with this device, but still having a smartphone that costs 129 and you can get that is really, really good. Um, it's just solid that you can actually get that battery saving mode adds more to that altogether. And it's nice that all this features are there built in. Now, of course, you do have the Nokia camera app, which you can access directly that way or from the top of your display uh, through the notification center. Uh, basically, it's the easiest way to access it without that camera button we're so used to on Windows phone, which, you know, is, is a bummer, but I can understand why. Now, again, this camera is nothing really fantastic with it. Um, you do have the full camera app feature sets and you can take photos and the uh, shutter speed is much faster. Um, and of course, you can switch between, you know, um, smart sequence as well as video mode and also back to camera mode and things like that and take the lots of decent pictures. No flash is a bummer and no front facing camera also is a bummer especially this day and age with selfies everyone taking selfies I really hope that Nokia would have added at least I mean Microsoft added at least a front facing camera for the 635 but still um, it, it, it it still does what it's supposed to do, especially at the price range uh, of this device, uh, which is nice. So, you know, um, overall, my thoughts about this device is that this is something that really does a job of handling either your first phone, first smartphone features with a lot of uh, feature sets built in there that most consumers wouldn't even realize uh, because of what you have with Windows Phone 8.1, as well as the Nokia Cyan update in there. Um, there's a lot to go with. And even if you're looking for a second phone, this is, this is 
is a great phone or a burner phone if you're one of those type of people i think this really works very very well for most users i really liked it i enjoyed it as a t-mobile customer i definitely recommend this if you're looking for a phone that does as uh, solid voice quality good lte great battery life solid performance an okay camera um the 635 does it at 129 and you really can't fault that at all so guys don't forget to like this video share this video and favorite this video and also subscribe to the channel top right hand corner of your screen and this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment